for the sake of our principles, for the sake of the Kuwaiti people, we stood our ground because the world would not look the other way. Ambassador El Saba, tonight, Kuwait is free. Very we are very happy about that. Hello there guys and welcome to the Speed 3D video. Today we're going to be flying the Boeing 747-400 and more specifically Kuwait Airways uh, service from Kuwait International to Dubai International. This is uh, the return flight uh, that we've done about a year ago uh, when we flew Fly Dubai uh, service from Dubai to Kuwait on the occasion of the uh, Kuwait Independence and Liberation Days. So this is our return flight today from Kuwait to Dubai and I thought that this is a good opportunity to fly this Kuwait Airways livery uh, with registration code Niner Kilo Alpha Delta Echo which has a lot of history behind it and we'll talk a little bit about the history of this aircraft once we're up in the air. So without further ado, captains, uh, let us jump into the flight deck and prepare the aircraft for departure. The weather is a bit rainy and cloudy in Kuwait today, uh, though it is very pleasant, about uh, 13, 14 Celsius. So let's go ahead and uh, begin with the battery. Battery is on. And standby power to auto. And let's start the, uh, the APU. All right. Let's arm the emergency lights. And let's just wait for the APU to become available. Okay, it looks like the APU is now available. So let's go ahead and turn on the APU gens. All right, and we'll set the IRS to nav mode. Very well. And now we can start programming the FMC. Right, uh, FS actions, let's uh, first set our fuel. So we need about 50,000, 51,000 pounds of fuel. I'm just gonna put 60,000 pounds of fuel and we'll go back to the doors and close all the doors and we'll just wait for the arm all to illuminate. And there we go. So arm all doors, return, and we'll leave everything now. Let's go to the FMC and let us enter the uh, uh, the position. So we are at uh, Oscar Kilo, Bravo Kilo. And now this is set. And I do have a company route uh, I created using Simbrief to Oscar Mike. Delta Bravo, which is Dubai. All right, activate and execute. And today we're gonna to be departing Kuwait runway 33 right through the Boxy 3 Foxtrot departure. And we're gonna be arriving into Dubai uh, through the Des 1 Charlie star. And we're gonna do an eyeless approach uh, runway 30 right through the Aldot transition and execute. Right, let's take a look at our legs page. Just make sure that uh, there are no discontinuities and as you can see, everything looks okay. Very well. Let's go to the uh, performance initialization and I'll leave the uh, payload as it is uh, for this state and reserves is one. Cost index is uh, 85 for this flight, and today we're going to be uh, flying at 39,000 feet. 
thrust limit, we're definitely going to derate um, as we're flying pretty light today. It's 15 Celsius here in Q8 and we're going to do flaps 10 for departure and that gives us a V1 of 123, V rotate of 130 and V2 of 15 knots, 150 knots. Our center of gravity is 19% and that gives us a trim of 5.2. All right. So now that we're set up, we're done with the FMC, um, what we can do is we can turn on the hydraulics here. All right, and set our trim to 5.2. Right, so that's about uh, 5.2, that's about right. And flight directors can go on. Let's set our altitude here to 390. All right, 39,000. And the speed is 150. All right, and everything else is set. Okay, so we are now ready to uh, push back and start the engines. Let's go ahead and turn on the fuel pumps. And let's let me check here, let's see. Okay, so we need to turn off the fuel X feed. Let's check here, yep. All right, so we're ready to call the pushback truck now. Uh, to depart uh, Q8. Okay. Prepare for pushback and departure. We'll just say Gulf Air. There isn't a livery for Q8 in in GSX, so we'll do nose to the uh, nose to the right. All right. So the tow truck is now in motion. I've checked the engine uh, start sequence for the 747 and it looks like different airlines use different procedures, but the most common of all is 4123. So engine 4 first, engine 1. Uh, and then engine 1, and then 2 and 3. And the reason I think why they start with engine 4 and 1 is that it's got to do something with the hydraulics. So engine four and one control the hydraulics on either side of the aircraft. All right, let's go ahead and remove the, let's set the parking brake. And let's remove the chocks here. Not sure why we're unable to set the parking brake. Well, I'm not sure why we're unable to set the parking brake, but uh, Right, looks like it, it, it is engaged now, yep. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn on the beacon and nav lights. And All right, we're clear to start the engine. So we'll start with engine number four, followed by engine number one and then engine two and three. Okay, engine number four is now spooling. Okay, it looks like we have a good start on uh, all four engines. So let's go ahead and turn on the packs. We can turn off the APU bleed and the APU. And now we can turn on the taxi lights. All right, let's set our flaps. Flaps five. And seat belt signs need to go on. Uh, auto brakes on rejected takeoff and TCAS to 2000 since this is an IFR flight and we'll go to TARA. 
All right, we are now ready to taxi. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a little bit of power. All right, folks, we are approaching uh, runway 33 right, which is our departure runway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the strobe lights on, taxi lights off, landing lights on, and let's make our turn here. Right, here we go. Okay, let's get lined up. As you can see, the visibility isn't that great. And I can confirm that this is actually the case uh, right now in Kuwait. All right, we are lined up with the runway now. Let's give it a little more power here. And Toga. Alright folks, uh, we just passed 10,000 feet and now we can fill the uh, landing lights. And we no longer need any of these, uh, those are fine. Okay, let's check here, everything's fine, there are no error messages, so uh, let's increase our range here to see where we're heading. Uh, the transition altitude in Kuwait is uh, 13,000 feet. So as soon as we're at 13,000, we'll switch the barrel reference to standard. Let's go ahead and turn on the weather radar. And uh, hopefully the weather uh, will clear as we uh, progress into uh, our flight into Dubai today. I did look at the uh, METAR weather uh, in uh, at Dubai, and it looks like there are some strong winds uh, as we come to land, uh, but that just uh, makes it more fun and more challenging. So, uh, we'll see how it goes. Alright, we're coming up to 13,000 feet, and bear reference set to standard, and uh, from this point forward there isn't really much for us to do other than watch the aircraft systems and monitor our climb to 39,000 feet. So I'll let you guys enjoy the flight and I will see you back at 39,000 feet. Welcome back folks. Uh, we are now at uh, 39,000 feet, which is our final cruising altitude for our flight today. And this aircraft, this Kuwait Airways aircraft has a lot of history. It was hijacked back in 1988 on a flight back from Bangkok to Kuwait and it was forced to land initially in Iran and then it was uh, refueled and then took off and went to, uh, I believe, Cyprus and finally, after a 16-day ordeal, it landed in Algeria and all the hostages were released and the hijackers uh, uh, surrendered to Algerian authorities and they were actually strangely uh, allowed to leave uh, without trial, without incident. The sad thing about this is a couple of Kuwaiti citizens on board the aircraft were executed uh, with a gunshot to, to their heads and uh, it was a very sad occasion. I do remember uh, it was a little boy watching the news uh, at the time. And I can still vividly remember uh, the events. And it was a live feed uh, on the 
aircraft uh, at the time. There was an incident uh, that took place before this one in 1984 where another Kuwaiti Airways uh, aircraft was hijacked. I believe it was an Airbus. And I believe it was the same group uh, that claimed responsibility for the, uh, for the hijacking of the, uh, of the aircraft. So there is definitely a lot of incidents uh, that uh, you know, subsequently uh, happened in Kuwait, terrorist uh, incidents, uh, terrorist attacks. Uh, one was the uh, attempted assassination of the late Emir, uh, Sheikh Jabir al-Ahmad al-Sabah, uh, at the time. And of course in 1990, uh, Iraq invaded Kuwait. Uh, Kuwait has been through uh, a lot of uh, tragedies uh, throughout its history. It's a very small country, and we're definitely a peace-loving nation. And while we find it in our heart to forgive, and uh, find forgiveness to be a beautiful thing, a beautiful value, we will never forget those who have done us harm, and we will definitely never forget those who stood behind the rightful Kuwaiti case and defended us and liberated uh, Kuwait. So, uh, folks, uh, we continue to um, cruise at 39,000 feet, and I will check back with you guys right before uh, top of descent, uh, maybe about 30 or 20 nautical miles before top of descent, where we will configure the aircraft for our approach and landing into Dubai. Enjoy the flight, and I will see you in just a little bit. Welcome back, guys. Uh, we are approximately 30 nautical miles from our top of descent point. And as you can see, we are approaching uh, Dubai, and it's uh, almost night time here in Dubai. Uh, that's the top of descent mark, so let's go ahead and configure the aircraft for uh, our approach into Dubai. So, let's see here. So, we're going to do flaps 30 today, and... Uh, our final approach speed is going to be 141 knots and that is now set and other than that really there's uh, nothing we need to do uh, oh we do need to reset the MCP altitude and there is a restriction um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to re uh, reset the altitude to 6,000 feet there we go that's 6,000 let's just double check here um, let's see here, that's uh, DESD. Yeah, so we need to be uh, below 11,000 here at Gitgo and above 6,000 here. So we'll set the uh, altitude to 6,000 feet and that should be okay. And we should reach our top of descent point uh, momentarily. Transition altitude uh, at Dubai is 18,000 feet, at which uh, point we will reset uh, or set the barrel reference to uh, standard so all is well at the moment and uh, let me go ahead and turn some lights on here as we uh, approach Dubai there we go side. Yeah, that's good enough. Looks really nice uh, at night. The uh, PMDG 747. The lighting is uh, very well done. It's uh, very, very good. And it looks like we've hit the top of descent now. And as you can see, the aircraft has begun the automatic descent. And hopefully we'll not need to uh, intervene uh, manually to uh, adjust our altitude and speed uh, but that's always a possibility okay I'll see you guys back at our transition altitude so enjoy the flight okay so we just passed our transition uh, altitude and let's go ahead and set the barrel reference to standard and 
and uh, we've set the altimeter. We continue to descend at about uh, 16, 1500 feet uh, per minute and uh, we're doing okay in terms of our um, altitude. It's uh, pretty cloudy here in Dubai, just like it is uh, back in Kuwait. And uh, it's a rainy day here in the region, I suppose. All is good at the moment. Uh, very uh, light turbulences uh, every now and then. Uh, but overall, a uh, smooth ride so far. Okay, I'll check back with you guys at, uh, at 10,000 feet. And I think by that time, uh, we will have entered uh, Imarati airspace. So I'll see you in just a little bit. We are now uh, approaching uh, 10,000 feet and uh, we are at 230 knots. Looks like we need to slow down to 210 knots. So what I'm going to do now is the following. I'm going to set the vertical speed to 1,000 feet per minute and I'm going to slow down to 210 knots. Alright, 10,000 feet. Let's go ahead and turn on the landing lights on. There's Dubai right there. That's the uh, airport. And uh, we're going to fly our Sid, uh, I beg your pardon, our star. We'll go all the way here and then turn and come back uh, and land. Looks like we're, we can go to about 800 feet per minute. Uh, we should be fine. Alright folks, uh, according to our flight plan, we need to descend, uh, begin the descent to 3,000 feet. We're still at 6,000, we need to reduce speed to 185, but uh, as you can see here, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to remain at 210 knots and I'm going to extend flaps 1 uh, momentarily uh, but I'm going to wait for 185 I'm going to wait uh, for, uh, for the turn to complete and uh, then I will begin reducing our speed uh, to 185 okay so let's go ahead and do flaps 1 alright what I'm going to do at this point is reduce our rate of descent to uh, let's see 400 feet per minute and uh, let's go ahead and leave our speed as it is uh, at least for the time being all right let's go ahead and uh, engage the uh, VR lock Right, and we're coming to 3,000. Localizer is captured, so now we can reduce our speed to 185 knots. And let's go ahead and extend flaps five. There we go, flaps five. And we will maintain uh, 185 knots until the flight slope is active. Alright, at this point we can go ahead and engage the approach button. And we'll, we'll just wait for the diamond to reach this point here and then we will reduce our speed uh, to uh, 150 and extend flaps and lower the landing gear. So we're doing okay now. Visibility is not that great, but it's not that bad. So I hope that everything will be okay for our landing. Okay, let's go ahead and um, let's set the auto brake to 2 and let's on the speed brake in preparation for our approach. 
Let me check our speed real quick here. One for one knots. Okay. Right, and let's go ahead and reduce speed to 170. Right, let's go ahead and extend flaps 10 and reduce our speed to 160 knots. And let's lower the landing gear. The runway is right ahead of us, as you can see that's the runway. I'm going to decrease the range here. Right, let's go ahead and reduce our speed now to 155 knots. And I'm going to extend flaps. Wide slope is now active. And that's the runway ahead of us. Right, and let's go to 150 knots. Flaps 25. And let's reduce speed to our approach speed now. And flat fold. That's the runway ahead of us right now. And here's what I'm going to do at this point. I'm going to go ahead and disengage the autopilot. Okay, it's my plane now. One thousand feet to to go. All right, let's disengage the auto throttle. We're a bit too high, 100. but that's okay. 50. 30.
touchdown. Right, and versers are out. Breaking. And welcome to Dubai. Captains. I hope that you've enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other. I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching and bye bye for now.